Hi guys, I'll be sharing with you an exciting news from the UK. You know, for some time, most of the news will be sharing with you from the UK as regard the changes to immigration policies, changes to immigration rules. Most of them have not been favorable to migrants living here in the UK. These rules have come into effect, while some are yet to come into effect. But today, I'll be sharing with you an exciting news that will benefit all migrants currently living in the UK, most especially those working within the health and care and visa route. UK government recently released a statement of change, and I'll be drawing your attention to a very exciting part of it that will benefit skilled migrants living here in the UK. So guys, if you care to know more about this exciting news I'll be sharing with you in a minute, you have to stick with me to the end of this video so you can get the full information. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, my name is Victor. In this channel, I give latest updates on ways you can migrate to the United Kingdom, ways you can study abroad, and I also share content about UK immigration, UK immigration policy, statement of change, and other happenings here in the UK. So guys, this content looks exciting to you and you gain value for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the amazing ever-growing family. And for my returning subscriber, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my video. I do appreciate. So guys, without further ado, let's get straight into today's end video. For some time, the UK government has been bringing up different measures in a bid to cut down net migration. Some of the policies they've introduced to cut down net migration have come into effect, while some are yet to come into effect. Of recent, the UK government released a statement of change that highlights most of the key changes that we have made to UK immigration policies. And some of these changes that we have recently announced are not favorable to migrants living here in the UK, most especially international students who are still studying when this new rule comes into effect, and also those who are currently working within the health and care visa route, most especially those on code 6145 and code 6146, and also those who are working within the health and care visa route on code 6145 and code 6146, which is the carer and senior carer route. These persons are part of those that these new policies will not be favorable to. But the UK government has come up with an exciting news that will benefit most migrants working here as a skilled workers in the UK. As usual, I'll be sharing my screen with you so we can read together to see some of the exciting news as it will benefit migrants currently working as a skilled workers here in the UK. This is a very exciting news. So guys, you need to give a thumb up so you can recommend this content to a wider audience. There are so many migrants out there who might not be able to get this information from the uh, main street media, but from content like this, they can be able to get the right information and act accordingly. Significant expansion of supplementary employment permission. The Home Office has announced a heavy relaxation of the supplementary employment rules for skilled workers from 4th April 2024, as well as being able to undertake supplementary employment in rules which appear on the immigration salary list or which is in the same profession and at the same professional level as the job they are sponsored for. A skilled worker can now undertake supplementary work in any role which would itself be eligible for skilled worker sponsorship. As before, the skilled worker needs to continue carrying out their sponsored role and the supplementary work must be no more than 20 hours a week. This expansion could prove helpful if, for example, a skilled worker wants to act as a director or carry out additional work for another group company. However, they will still need permission from their sponsor. So guys, this is an exciting news to all migrants. What this paragraph is saying is, if you are a skilled worker, right, you cannot take up a second employment, which is otherwise known as a supplementary employment, on a different sector, different from that which you are sponsored to come and uh, work here in the UK. That's taking effect from 4th April 2024. The rule before 4th April 2024, if you are working as healthcare assistant, right, on a sponsorship role, you cannot take up a supplementary employment in a different sector. If for any reason you want to take up a supplementary 
uh, employment, it must still be in the same care sector or similar shortage occupational code. With this statement of change was released, 4th April 2024, a few days back, you cannot take up a second employment, which is supplementary employment, from any sector. That sector that you are taking up, the supplementary employment, is also eligible for skilled workers' role. Take, for instance, you are sponsored to come and work here in the UK as a healthcare assistant, right? You wish to take up a supplementary employment in a different field like IT, right? You can do that because IT is also eligible for sponsorship role. But you cannot do more than 20 hours on a supplementary employment. An exciting news the UK government has put up for migrants currently working as a skilled worker. I remember last year, this same rules was relaxed to allow skilled workers on the head and care visa route to take up supplementary employment and also work more than 20 hours on a second employment. August 2023, everything returned back to status quo. You can only take up a supplementary employment and work not more than 20 hours in a week on the same shortage occupational code. But with this statement of change that was released a few days back, that has also come into effect from 4th of April 2024, skilled workers cannot take up a supplementary employment in any sector in as much that sector is also qualified for skilled workers sponsorship. So guys, this is an exciting news. But while it's an exciting news, there are also uh, some bottleneck that I think the UK government still need to give a proper clarification about. Because the last paragraph we read put out some clause that some employers can use as a tool to deprive you from taking up a second employment, most especially those working within the NHS. Let's read this paragraph together so we can get more clarification. This expansion could prove helpful if, for example, a skilled worker wants to act as a director or carry out additional work for another group company. However, they would still need permission from their sponsor. So this is the bottleneck I'm talking about. Some employer will not allow you to take up a supplementary employment. Even after you meet up with your contractual hour you have with that same company, most especially those working within the NHS trust. Some NHS trust will not allow their sponsored employee to take up second employment. So I think this is one area the UK government needs to put up a clarification, allowing skilled workers to take up supplementary employment in as much they fulfill their contractual obligation with their sponsored employer. Because most employers will tell you they will not reference you because you are not allowed to take up a supplementary employment. Even when the government has allowed those on skilled workers to take up supplementary employment but not work more than 20 hours per week, some employer will still stand as an embargo to that. However, this is a good news from the UK government, allowing skilled workers to take up supplementary employment in any role that qualifies for skilled workers' role. If you are currently working within the health and care sector and you have a professional discipline that you are trained and that is your area of expertise, you can pick up a supplementary employment in that area to sharpen your skills and also to gain some experience, right? Skilled worker currently working in the UK, you need to start looking for a supplementary employment different from that which you are sponsored to come and uh, work here in the UK because the law now allow you to take up supplementary employment in a different sector of more than 20 hours in that supplementary employment. This is indeed a good news. If you are currently working as a skilled worker, most of those working within the health and care visa route, you can start looking for, for supplementary employment in any discipline that is also qualified for skilled workers role. Guys, we've come to the end of uh, today's video. If you gain value for this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the amazing ever growing uh, family. You can do that right away. You can as well give a thumb up so you can recommend this content to a wider audience. See you in my next video.